What's going on guys? This is Costi with Sharp Trading Plays coming to you with Pick Dogs only in the number one sports betting community on YouTube. Really glad to be a part of it. Um, if you haven't smashed the like button yet, do it. Um, I know a lot of people just watch this series that I do simply for the education. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're here and you actually want to take it to the next level. There's a number right on the screen. You could shoot me a text. Um, I only work with guys with big bank rolls one-on-one. -on -one. I give away the free education on here for guys that are not quite there yet. And hopefully eventually you'll become a sharp trading syndicate member. But for now, take on the education. I always provide it to you guys every single day for free. Today, we're going to explain how to properly bet your bankroll. If you're betting, let's say I'm going to use an even number for you guys so it's easy to remember. If you have a $10,000 bankroll and you're playing every game for 2%, that means you're betting $200 per game. Now, if your bankroll increases to $15,000, now you're betting not $200 a game. You're betting $300 a game because 2% of $15,000 is 300. So that means you're constantly increasing or even decreasing that 2%. That 2% is not a stagnant number. It constantly will change with your bankroll as it goes up or with your bankroll it goes down. Now, why do you bet 2% on the game? Why do you bet 3% of the game? Why do you bet 5% on a game, which is usually the max risk that I take on any particular spot on any game? And that's due to the line being very advantageous, the line being completely off, and that all comes down to analytics and the strategy that you're using on your own. That changes daily as well. So yes, some bets could be 3%, some bets could be 2%, but again, that percent is not always going to stand as in the same static number. That means that your percent will change as your bank bankroll increases or decreases every single day. And when to change the number, I usually tell clients every morning when you log into the account, if I have a 2% bet, that's when you change your 2%, not game by game, but at least day by day. So if you have 10 games on the board and you have a total of 20% risk, some games are 3%, some games are 4%, some games are 1%. But your percentages per day, you're still, if I have 20% risk of your whole bankroll, well, that is in a one particular day. So that way, that 20% is only 20% of your bankroll. Because if you had a losing day, then it's 20% of your net bankroll that day. So you're constantly changing it. You're constantly following direction and... A lot of clients, unfortunately, are not used to doing it this way. It's very unorthodox. It doesn't make sense to a lot of people. Well, we're pros. We do this for a living. I talk to groups 24-7. Uh, you know, people call me the Adam Schefter of the sports betting business because I'm always on the phone. I always keep, a, you know, an ear to the pulse of this business and games are coming at me throughout the day. 365 days a year. So if you want to be on my side and you want to be connected to the groups that I deal with and you have that big bankroll and you're trying to monetize and have a passive income with betting sports, shoot me a text. The number is right on the screen below me and I'll gladly give you much more education than I even do in these videos. Now to the complimentary selection. We are back in the NBA. Man, there's four games left for most teams in the NBA season. You have to be very leery of the traps because certain teams don't have anything to play for and some teams have a lot of movement that is still available for them to get the actual home game series to get out of the the bottom stages of the playing game to get into the playing game while some teams simply can't advance their position so I don't know how much emphasis they're going to put into the last stages of the season 
because obviously they're getting geared up for a very long playoff run. The game we're going to attack today is the LA Clippers. They are heading to Phoenix in Arizona for a game there, and then they go back home and the Clippers play the Phoenix Sun, Phoenix Suns the following game. Now, Phoenix has room to advance. Right now, Phoenix is sitting in the sixth spot. And they're tied with the Pelicans, but they have the half-point lead over them. They are two games away from the Mavericks. I don't know exactly how much they want to chase the Mavericks, more so to hold that sixth spot where they don't play in a playing game and they automatically get a series regardless. So they have a lot of worth right now with four games left in the season to play that game and to play the remaining four games to make sure that they don't have to play in a one game or go home scenario with the playing games. The Clippers, on the other hand, they're two games above the Mavericks sitting in the four seed and they're three games behind the Thunder, which are in the three seed. It's going to be very hard for them to catch the Thunder covering three games when there's only four games left. And it's going to be tougher for the Mavericks to catch them. But even if they get caught by the Mavericks, they still play the same series against the Mavericks, but it would just flip-flop where the Mavericks would have home field advantage versus the Clippers will have home field advantage if they keep their four seed. I like the Clippers probably to hold on And to keep the four seed, it's just not going to be in this scenario. The Suns need this way more. It's only a three and a half point spread. The Suns are seven and three against the number. And they're seven and three overall in their last 10. While the Clippers are seven and three in their last 10, but they're three and seven against the number. I like Phoenix here. They're healthy. They have to play for this game. If they lose this game, they could potentially drop down into a playing game scenario. And then they really have to fight for it on the road against the Clippers in the following game. So this is a perfect spot for the Suns to get it done and to keep that sixth seed for the time being. So take the Phoenix Suns, lay in the three and a half. And if you want access to all my games, my baseball, my tennis, my golf, all the groups that I deal with, shoot me a text number below. I'll gladly talk to you, give you a free consultation. And NBA playoffs are going to be absolutely huge. We really load up and we play bigger 5% edges on the NBA playoffs. So getting in now is a great opportunity. So don't wait, don't stall, make the call or text to me, and I'll put you in the right position to make a lot of money this summer. Have a good day.